Hi, I'm Vili. Welcome to Block Plays. Today we're talking GBC. We assembled a team of around 10 people to uh, put together a circuit, build modules, man the modules, run after balls and engage with the public at our Clearwater 2019 event. This has been by far the largest great ball contraption Africa has ever seen. And I'm quite proud of the team who pulled together, working late nights, designing their own modules, building off plan, uh, and then making this simply the most incredible display at our event this year. Some highlights of the circuit is the uh, Wanaki Yuki model, which has uh, really impressed us, uh, and it's, it's been remarkable how well and how reliably this has worked. We also have Eben, who built a four-tier workshop module, which we will make available to the club, uh, hopefully to participate in future Great Ball events. And one of the big things in life is, if you can't measure it, it doesn't count. And on GBC, the whole thing is about getting balls through a system. And it's always important to know what you're doing, the volume, the amount, how long it takes, how many you've done. To date, we've done, over the first day, just about 12,000 odd balls, and this morning already, 1,000 balls. Our ball count is just a simple EV unit. It is using a touch sensor. Every time that a ball comes through, we tick the switch and we count it. We are trying to up our typical ball count, our ball count per minute. The better we do, the better the GBC runs. I'm the designer of this new uh, GBC module. I nicknamed it the Stack and Jack uh, because it's basically a, a, model, a module designed um, that you can stack on top of each other and it jacks balls to the top. This is an example of four of these modules stacked together. Um, you can see the, the different modules uh, by looking at the different color uh, combinations. Um, and basically all it does is it just moves uh, the balls up conveyor belts to the top. And then it's got an intricate slide system that the balls follow to the bottom. And it's got a second conveyor system that takes it back to the top again and it slides all the way back to the bottom again. So it just uh, does the same thing twice. Uh, and the nice thing about it is that you can stack as many of these on top of each other as you would like. Um, I'm sure it'll get top heavy at some point, but that's the idea behind it. Each module is made up of about three and a half thousand pieces, um, and the four together comes to almost 15,000 pieces. Currently we have this catch and spin robots from Akiyuki that I've uh, managed to build. It was a little bit tricky but not difficult and it is a wonderful model. It really pulls a lot of attention to the GBC circuit which I love and it's uh, proved to be a very reliable model. It basically waits for balls and then spins and releases balls and continues with the rest of the circuit which is nice. Um, I actually have no idea how it works, but it does.
Another cool collaborative build was the ball pit behind me. Uh, initially I designed the floor area and the walls. We got Eben to build the runoff and the very cool Stargate module uh, feeding the rest of the circuit. And our friend Dan, who built two tanks with remote controls allowing kids to uh, participate in the great ball contraption, to uh, have a really interactive experience. Although I didn't build any models for this specific circuit today, I um, was involved with getting the program for everybody, making sure that everybody is here to help out at specific times, and just to make sure that the circuit runs. So running off the balls, if one of the models are not working, quickly grabbing one of the more technically inclined members to fix it. I love GBC, it's something that I'm passionate about mostly because of the effect that it seems to have on the crowd and the children especially. To see the children's smiles and to see them blooming is something that I really love seeing. Thank you to the team who made this possible and for Block Blaze coming on site to film. If you liked this episode, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell.